I'm at it again. Uh, this is going to be a new series uh, of where I uh, install the engine on the cart and everything like that. So um, I've got the torque drive here in front of me, but uh, let me show you what we're going to do in this video. So um, we're going to install and set up the motor on the AV monocar. So we're going to bolt the engine to the frame. Then we have to modify the torque drive. I'll show you about that because the, the chain gets stuck in there when it comes off. Then we're going to install the torque drive in the chain, get it all adjusted. We're going to use the original fuel tank for now, so I've got to modify the top plate and get that mounted so I can run the motor and you know check it out make sure things are fine before I put the body on. Uh, final assembly of the carburetor and all the components. Get them nice and tight. Hook up the throttle cable. Tighten up the header. Install the on-off switch up on top of the motor uh, for later when I put the body in. Then I can get to the switch. Add some oil and fuel. And then fire that puppy up. Then we'll make some adjustments. You know, I want to run this thing around the house and make sure the motor's right. Then I can work on the body and other refinements that I want to do to my design. So right now it's uh, the cart's going to be a mule to get, get all this stuff figured out. So that's where we're going. And uh, we'll start uh, by snugging up the motor in the frame. That way I can drill some holes in the top plate. Okay, I'm going to snug up the motor here. Okay, so now I can drill some holes in here for the tank. <clears throat> so I want to mount the uh, stock tank. I'm going to mount it right here. I want it to line up with this hole down here so I can make a little strap. And then here are the studs here. So I've made a mark where they're going to go. I've got to drill those out. Looks like I have clearance. So let's make a little mark here and start drilling. Well, I can make it work. It doesn't line up exactly, but I can make a little bracket. All right, I played around with the uh, holes here so that I've got the tank flushed right here. So then I can make a bracket similar in size to that that'll go right there. I have some uh, eighth by one aluminum strap that'll work perfect for this little bracket. It's, uh, it's gotta be this size. I'll figure out where the holes go. I need to square up these ends here, so uh, I'll make a mark. I can clean this up. I was cutting some foam earlier, so that's a little high. Bracket established. Okay. Now cut up the link. 
Okay, so there's one little bracket. I gotta clean it up, round the corners, put some holes in it. So that won't take long to make. transfer this whole pattern to this little template of the marking gauge. So I'm going to try something here. Let's see if this will work. Okay, that's where it belongs. So that's over the holes. And I'm going to use a ball peen hammer and see if I can make a little indentation where those are. Okay. Okay, so I can see the impression. So I decided I'm going to lay this over my bracket and just to eyeball up the center of the hole, center punch it. Keep this thing from moving here. Then I'll drill it out. Don't move on me. Okay, so now I can put it up in the vise here. I can do it over on the drill press, but it only takes a second to do it by hand. This hole is uh, slightly oversized of the, uh, I want a little bit of slop there for adjustment purposes. install the tank, I think. I'm going to round these corners off a little bit, make it look, I'm just going to eyeball it up. So I have uh, everything's tight now. It's on there real good. Um, I didn't add a shim under here because uh, you know I don't have a half a tank of gas in it, so it, it'll flow. We're kind of running downhill that way, but no biggie. But it seemed to be on there solid, and as it turns out, the uh, original piece of fuel tubing is long enough, so that's what I'm going to use. 
It's got the clamps on it too. That's what I like. Everything OEM. Okay. Then work this one on. Get the clamp on. All right, that looks like a factory deal. The cycle cart master. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Brian came over and uh, he's putting the oil in the cart right now. And then we bought some uh, 1030 synthetic uh, oil. So it won't be long before we put in some gas and uh, fire this baby up. All right, so we're going to put some gas in it. It takes three hands to work these new nozzles, you know, it's like, they're crap. So uh, we don't have the throttle hooked up yet, but we're going to work it by hand, because we're kind of curious. We want to hear it run. Yeah, you're still on the slot, so you just push it here, go. And there's no uh, air, air release either, so it's just ridiculous. Okay, so the choke, that's on. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to fire it up and put gas in. We've got the oil. This is tight. Everything's tight. So, so let's give it a whirl. Turn on the key. There's a switch. We gotta put the dry. Yeah, you're not using a fuel pump yet, huh? No fuel pump, just grab yeah, the feed. Yeah. Let's we'll, let's put the we'll put the torque driver on here when you get it done, and we'll get it out and drive. All right, it. we're gonna fire it up so you can hear it uh, with some, you know, run the uh, RPM a little bit. Okay, you ready? Yep. Sure, idles nice. Just idle and beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what she sounds like. Yeah. Strong sounding motor. Like a and instant response, too. No more anemic putt putt. 
All right. Man, that thing's kind of scary now. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll have to put the torque drive on, take it for a drive, see what this mule can do. I'm not driving this thing. <laughs> <Are you> crazy. <laughs>